Um, congratulations to Tennessee. They did a great job. They fought. Uh, we had our chances. We didn't shoot the ball particularly well today. Um, some of that was us. Some of that was Tennessee. Um, but we had our chances, and it shows what they're – they didn't let go of the rope. Shows what their coach is about. Shows what their team's about. And now we get to get on a plane and go home and get ready for this next tournament. Um, but this, this thing here, when I said we should have nine teams, look at it. Maybe I was right again that, we, wait a minute, what about Florida? Texas a and M's killing everybody. Florida should have won that game. What does that mean about them? You know, I mean, the, 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 this league – Mississippi State, two and a half, they have a chance, and all of a sudden James makes four threes, or that ball game's a two-bucket game. So, you know, th this league has done some good stuff, and now let's see what happens in the postseason. I'm hoping seven, maybe eight teams get in. And if that's the case, the way you judge a league is what's their record in the NCAA tournament? If half your teams or three quarters lose in the first game, it kind of tells you that maybe you weren't what everybody said. I have a lot of confidence in these teams. All right, questions for either the student athletes. Raise your hand. Let's start in the center aisle right here in the middle. Keon, just what's the mood of the team right now after not your best performance, but going into next week, the tournament that really counts? We're still in great spirits, looking forward to what we got coming up next week. Um, we were really, really happy with the way we continued to fight. We, we could have gave up, and we still pushed it, and still had a chance to win the game. So, you know, we're, you know, the tough loss, we hate to lose, but we're still in good spirits moving forward. Raise your hand, other questions for either of the student athletes? Hands up. Okay, let's go to the back in the middle. Yeah, Oscar, Keon, either one, both of you. What are you most concerned about getting right before next week's tournament? Oscar? I think we just got to stay focused and locked in, be ready for the next tournament. I'm pretty confident with my teammates, with everything. Um, this was kind of off day for us. We did not really make a shot, but we still have a confidence, and we're going to be ready next week. Same for Keon. Uh, to, to piggyback on what O just said, just we've seen it all. We've played without certain players, had to switch different lineups and stuff all year. So now we're just, you know, we got everybody back healthy. Um, we lost today. That sucks. But moving forward, we just want to continue to, you know, hammer down on being disciplined, being focused, and um, you know, because we know our coaches are going to put us in the in the right places to be successful. So then it's us out there. We just got to make sure we execute. Question in the back on the right. For both of you, again, was it more about what you didn't do or more about what Tennessee did to disrupt what you were trying to do? Keon, would you go first? Uh, you got to give them credit. Um, they played a, a really, a really good game, shot the ball well, exceptionally to start the game. And then um, we, we made some errors that when we went on a run, we would uh, – Miss a miss a, a rebound or turn the ball over or get back cut, that kind of halted our momentum when we were really really you know turning it up and getting back in the game. So it's it's a little bit of both. Um, they played well, but we also did shoot ourselves in the foot a couple of times. And Oscar, uh, just like you only just say um, they really played good. Um, we were just trying to do the things coach wants us to do, but like. Um, I think today was just kind of off day for us, and uh, we were missing shots. We give them credit for defense. They did play good. They were hustling in every position, so I think we're good and um, still confident with my teammates and everything we're doing. We've got time for one or two more. Let's go right here in the middle on the right. Oscar, you've been done such a good job of avoiding foul trouble the past few games. What was the difference today? What did you learn in the way that Tennessee was playing you? Um, I just gotta be smart because there's some players they just come in trying to get you in foul trouble. 
But today I was just hustling, do my job. Um, I don't know. I just got to be smart. Tennessee, they play smart. That's why they got me a little bit. But I got to be smart in the upcoming game. Okay, let's go. Last question right here on the front row. Yeah, this is for both of you guys. On the offensive end, did you feel like you were getting good looks and they just weren't falling or you didn't do enough to create or what did you see there? Keon? I feel like the looks that we got were good. It was just one of those days where, you know, the ball didn't go in for us. Um, there were some situations where we didn't, you know, help each other out with getting open to get some of those shots. And sometimes we weren't shot ready when the ball was kicked out to us. But I think for the most part, we got a lot of good looks and, you know, Kelly had some shots that rimmed in and out. Jacob and his pull-ups and 15-footers, shots that he never missed, rimmed in and out. A lot of shots like that, just it just didn't go our way tonight. But, you know, sometimes that happens. But you just got to continue to fight through it. And we still had a chance to win, even with all that. Oscar, same. Uh, exactly what he just said. Uh, we had a couple of players, like, uh, they didn't want, they didn't not want to shoot when they were hoping, like um, Jacob. He always make it those 15, 17 footers for and dribble. But like coach, you say, you got a shooter. I'm down there fighting for rebound. He missed, I'm probably like have 50, 50 chance to get a rebound. They just got to shoot the ball when you're hoping. You got to do the things that is going to help us. So we're going to go back, work on those stuff, and uh, be ready to turn it up next week. Thank you. We'll excuse the student athletes. You can return to the locker room. I want you guys to be able to get back. Just tell them I got a car, okay. and I'll be over in five minutes after you guys. All right, we'll continue on with uh, Coach Calipari. Let's start right in the middle here on the center aisle. Is this the type of game you can just flush it and move on, or do you have concerns heading into March? Well, who did I get the last shot for? that I thought could close the gap. I'm surprised somebody didn't ask me, why would you do that? Because I really believe in him. And even when he's playing that way, I believe in him. And I told him, why do you think I did that? Because you believe in me. Sometimes more you're believing it in yourself because you miss two and you think I'm going to miss 10. Keon does, or um, Davion does the same thing. I was all over Davion, just shoot the ball. Jacob, just shoot it. They were one for 16 amongst them. We were two for 20. Folks, we could have won this game. Think about what I'm saying. You could say, well, they did it. Well, we may have been two for 25, or those, two, those guys may have been one for 19 if they shot more, but I still want them to shoot more. And Oscar's right. If you shoot it and you miss it, we have a beast standing under the basket. Just shoot it. If you're anywhere near my bench, if someone on my team ever says, well, he takes me out every time I miss a shot, you look, you're a liar. I'm right there. You lied. You need to ask for forgiveness. He tells you to shoot it, and you don't shoot it. Don't say he takes you out for misses. So we, we didn't. You know, and I like the fact we had a chance to win. I thought we were going to win. I went crazy because you got beat on a back door to lose the game. That means you stopped playing. You just stood up and stopped. Back door. And it's like, wait a minute. Do you really want to see somebody go, my fault? Like, that's my fault. What? The world knows it's your fault. You don't have to confirm it. They watched it. So we had some of those plays that... I was laughing. I'm like, if we win this game, thank goodness it was under two minutes on that last out of bounds. Thank goodness. Because he had to go look. Like everybody watched it and said, why'd you do that? That made it fun. Let's go question the far back on the middle aisle. Kyle, how much, if any, do you think just sort of all the disruption to the lineup over the last, you know, four weeks disrupted where you were offensively? And, and how do you think you dial back no, in? With some I of think we're in really good shape. We got three guys at every position. So what I told them, I was going to tell them, and I did tell them before this tournament, it, 
you don't have to play great because I'll just play somebody else. I don't even have to get mad. If you're not ready to go, I'm just going to play somebody else. Just be ready next game. And then I was going to say, now, the only way that doesn't work if like eight of you play like crap. Then it don't matter we have a lot of guys. So if you, you have a bunch of guys that didn't play well, you're not winning. We were two for 20. I think a couple of them were air balls from good shooters, like the best shooter in the conference. So, look, I'm, I probably I'll, I'll watch the tape because it's just what I do. But this we knew would be a physical bump and grind game, and I thought we held our own. Um, you know, but there were. When we had it to six, there were three plays back to back to back. You can't win national championships on plays like that. You cannot. Because a good team will make you pay just like Tennessee made us pay. You can't. And they were our mistakes. A back door. We were running a play. The guy went the wrong way. That, like a quarterback, goes to hand it off, and the running back went that way. In a national championship game, they clobbered the quarterback. He fumbles, and they won, and you just lost the national title. Because you went the wrong way? We did one of those. So it's a good lesson for us. And I told him, you, look, plan to play great. I believe in this team. Let me, let me just ask you, if we had pulled this off, what would everybody in the country would have said? Oh, my God. They just played like that and won. You do not want to play them. And that's what I told him after. We're fine. Let's go home. I'd like to be home by... 8.30, see my dogs, <laughs> right. kiss my dogs. Hey, next question right on center, center aisle. Now, how, how do you think you should be seated tomorrow? It'll probably be a two, maybe a three, who knows? I'm not in the room. But we'll see. My guess is it'll be a very hard path because it always is. Okay, let's go to the... Back row. Coach, the regular season belongs to the bigs. The tournament belongs to the guards. Do you have to have great guard play to survive and advance in the tournament? Yeah, but you better have a big, too. Like, yeah, you have really good guards, but your big's not good enough. Well, you ain't advancing either. You may go one or two rounds, but you're not, you're not going to be that elite eight, sweet 16 team. You better have some size. We have both. Our guard play, we got four point guards. Three of them play together at times, most times. We got three, four different guys that could play at four. So if one doesn't play well, I can go to another one, another one, and just yesterday it was Jacob, today it was Keon. We still have Damian, and I can also play Lance. Lance played, and again, you're not saying that Oscar only played eight minutes in the first half. No one's saying anything, but that's a fact. Played eight minutes. And the reason was I wanted to give us a chance to win, which I did by not playing him and giving him a third foul. So we had our chance. But best player in the country, and he fouls. We're going to take a couple more. Let's go all the way in the way back, and then we'll go in the way back on the left. Yeah, Cal, you've talked about how many SEC teams you think should get in. Do you think that – Y'all, Auburn and Tennessee have all made cases that they could be on that two seed line come tomorrow. Auburn may be on one seed line. I, you know what? Like Tennessee has played so well, but they don't. They say they don't do that anymore. Your last ten, they look at your body of work. You know who you beat, your quad ones and all the other stuff they go with. I, I just wish they did some eye test. Like watch. Forget about numbers. Do you know basketball? Watch the games. So Tennessee, could they be a one? I don't know. What have they – I haven't – if you know me, I'm not seeing it, reading it, hearing about – I don't really care. So our people were saying, hey, we got a chance at a one. I'm like, Shh, I'm just trying to win a ball game. So what has Tennessee been what, – what has their seed line been? So could they move to a one? Maybe. I mean, they're, if they're saying we were a one, they beat us. Two for 20 and 
big guy out in the first half and some other stuff, but they beat us. And Auburn has had a great year. Last question, way back on the left. Coach, back to uh, when you guys went to the press, a couple of possessions. Did you feel like they were just too comfortable? What did you see there to, to finally go to the press there? We had to do anything to just kind of mix up the game and make a little run and put the pressure back on them. That's why we did it. And we did good. We had our chances. Get home by 8.30. Thanks. Be safe, folks.